my gosh, we are at the beach today. It is the tail end of summer and we are lucky enough to be here at the Fire Island Pines. We're gonna be talking to DJ Lena, who is the queen of the pines, all about this historically gay vacation spot. I'm Lena Bradford and I'm a DJ. I identify myself as a spiritual being. I love everything about this island. The relationships, that's what it's all about. It's like really about brother and sisterhood here. So historically, Fire Island is known as an incredibly amazing gay community. Yeah. Do you know about why? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, this place has been my everyness for so long, but also too, I wanted to know about the predecessors and you know the history and everything. This place has always been like a safe haven for people. You this know? is a place where people could come and be themselves. Yeah, yeah, and find themselves at the same time. I'm really about my history. And I'd always known it to be a very magical, special place. Talk to me a little bit about this community here this in community. the Pines. Wow. I'm blessed in my career to travel the world, but this is my favorite place to come back to. I find it to be like a satellite dish of energy and light and love for me, so that when I leave here and I'm off in Europe, you know, in the rest of the winter cold months, it's refueling me. I started DJing um, 18 years ago. Wow. Time goes by so fast. When was the first time that you came here? Well, the first time I came here was in the late 70s, but then, like, I say the real first, first time was when I came out here to work. So I came out and it was on a Saturday and it just kicked off. Then it just became so popular and then next thing you know, like a month later, it was like, bam, we have a hit. I was excited because it was like I was creating something new and I felt amazing to one, be a part of the roster and the legendary people who are this island. It is a beautiful haven of love and light out here. I need... <laughs> You know, you're gonna feel my music if you've got soul in you. And even if you don't know you have soul in you, I'll find it. I'll get you. Okay, so now we know how you started DJing, but where are you from? Where were you? When I raised in Manhattan. Manhattan. Yeah, my grandmother was an opera singer, and I always knew that I was really lucky to grow up in Manhattan and also to have the amazing family that I had. You know, my grandmother's a witch. I've been Black Wicca since the age of four, so we were a very spiritual family. And my grandmother helped my mom and dad understand that this was very special, and they raised me as a little girl, and that's all I ever knew. It just made my life that much more enriched because I knew who I was. And I grew into myself, like, feeling so on point and together. It's funny, um, I don't really find that I had um, a coming out thing. As soon as I was out, um, out of the womb, it was the grand prize for me. You were allowed to occupy your own skin. Yeah, for... completely, which I always find to be the most important thing whenever I, you know, speak to young transgendered kids. You know, I'm like, take the time to grow into yourself as a being before anything. Don't rush this process. You have your whole life. And sometimes I see that when these kids start their transition too early and they do it for the wrong reasons because of guys that they're dating or just any of these things, listen to yourself. Grow into yourself as a being first so that you've got that much more to offer yourself and the rest of the world when you do this and you're going to do it right. I grew up very fluid. You know, for me, sexuality is about essence and what you can give me mentally. If you can mentally stimulate me and turn me out, then guess what? We can rock and roll at the end of the day. I've dated everything you can imagine, except for a giraffe and maybe a deer. I've got tips. <laughs> It's a little bit intimidating to me in the beginning coming out, like just being around all of this masculine energy. Like, how was I going to be part of the equation? Yeah. And I got over that because I don't let anything ever hold me back because there's a reason why I was asked to be here and there's a reason why it's become what it has and I feel so blessed for that. This island was saying, I need some love. <laughs> Stage left, come on, Lena. <laughs> I took the call. <laughs> Amazing. I don't get too caught up in the mascara of life, the chunks. I'm a very happy, fun person, and I love to laugh. And any, any way of learning anything is always through laughter and with music. So you really got the best of both worlds with me. You mentioned that, like, 
Fire Island was this safe haven, a place that people could be themselves and find themselves. And I wonder if you think that's changing at all based on some of the more mainstream acceptance and conversation. Do you think that it still is necessary well, to have? You really feel the history here. Like if you're a connected person, you can smell it, you can see it. I mean, when you walk these boardwalks, you're just like, God, there's a lot of history here. A lot of major people are here and have walked through these woods. You know, it's, yeah. it's pretty special. Yeah like you're walking through your history. Yeah, you really are, and finding it at the same time. Like friends that I have who've never been here before, like a lot of my friends that come over from Europe, they're like, what is this? Like, wow, you know what I mean? And yeah. I love that I have a part in this, you know what I mean? That I helped make this happen. Right, it's like there was a Fire Island before you started DJing yeah. here, and yeah. like you've, you've touched this place and created it. I feel like it got back to basics, how it used to be back in the day, you know, when it was just really about that moment, that music and that love and that community. It's amazing. The role that I find that um, Fire Island has played in the community, whether it be gay, lesbian, transgendered, any community, straight, a sense of being, a sense of community, something that you don't really have anymore in the big cities of wherever it is that you come from. People say hi, and people look at you in your face, you know, and it should be about that. Thank you for being with you us. You are amazing, thank you. You are amazing, this seriously. This was a good time. This was the best. I want to thank everybody for watching. You need to come to the Fire Island Pines, and you need to come when DJ Lena is spinning because it's the best. And you should probably come hang out here where we're hanging out. Today. Not bad. I'll I mean, be here. I'm never. <laughs> she's not going I'm anywhere. Never she got her nails done. She's yeah, sad. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, you guys subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And if you want to keep sending me to Fire Island, so let's just <laughs> keep those views coming. Thumbs up if you like it. <laughs>